Truth is one, paths are many. This very well-known phrase characterized one of the most re revered yoga masters of our time, Sri Swami Satchitananda, whose message of peace inside all people and harmony among all faiths and countries has been heard worldwide. His teachings continue to be spread by the teachers and swamis of his order. I have the pleasure of having here today Swami Ramananda. The whole idea of a, of a guru and surrender and that kind of guru-disciple relationship was very foreign to me as it was to most of us back, the, back in the uh, 70s, I'm talking about. Um, so I had some trepidation about that kind of relationship and exactly what it meant. Um, but, but gradually I, come, I came to understand that to be devoted to a teacher is not to the human person not to a personality, but to the teachings, mm -hmm. right? to the truths that they embody and that they impart. And by developing faith in those teachings and following them with sincerity and dedication, so much is possible. Right? And, and really what I found is that I was discovering the truth within myself. Uh, any spiritual tradition ultimately has an essential attempt to find that peace or happiness that is inherent, often talked about as the image of God, right? mm -hmm. that we're all made in the image of God, to attune ourselves to that presence of God or spirit. Mm -hmm. So that presence, that experience of the internal joy makes it much more possible to be involved in the world without depending, without needing those things to be the source of our happiness. So, by saying this, I mean to say that yoga recommends both some kind of practice to help us attune to the self within, the, the natural joy, the innate sense of love and connection that's already present, and on the other hand, a relationship with the world around us right, that's a healthy one, that's not dependent the saints and sages, the masters of all these traditions, ultimately found the same truths. The same. Uh, Very good.